I came here all by myself. My whole family is in Brazil, but they still support me. I mean, I, I'm always talking to my mom and to my relatives, so I have that support from back home. And yeah, I mean, I felt anxiety, I felt homesick a lot of times, but that's something you learn how to deal with. It's good, it's good to be out of your comfort zone, so yeah, um, it's good to have yeah. that ability to cope with that. I really like to exercise, so that's always something that distracts me. So that's a good method that I use. But I think the most important is getting to know people and keeping yourself distracted and make new friends, you know, hang out with them, have fun. That will always keep your mind more positive. Friends, that's like a really good thing to do because they support you and they know what you are going through. Also, um, don't be shy, talk to everyone, um, like get some help. Just coming here it was really hard because I was really homesick and it was affecting a lot of things, class, you know, classwork and everything. Because I still feel really homesick even though it's my second year, but what, again, the professors are really nice, like, even, can I mention specific people? Yeah. Yeah, like, even my first year in college algebra, I had a professor, RJ Jansons, like, just communicating with him through emails, like, he was just so nice that it just immediately made you feel better like he talk he talks to you about like his family or whatever like oh his son goes to college out of state and then you know you get that parent perspective and you just feel mm. way better and then you know again meeting people who are also from other places so you guys can kind of connect and then you guys hanging out it takes your mind off of it and of course facetiming every other day with your mom <laughs> helps too my prescription perspective is a little <laughs> different because I was living on campus so you already had people that were homesick and like you you had like you know that community that was there to you know and then like RAs and stuff like that where they would help you and like you know just be there so uh, definitely uh, any person in the world who was uh, leaving his country and his family and coming to a completely strange country he has to he has to be aware of that he doesn't want to, he, he shouldn't be shocked about it. And he has to start doing some researches on how to be active in this society and how to network in this society. So my, my advice to you is to go for the meetups, how to be friends with nat Native Americans. So you can go search for the best uh, social uh, apps the best uh, facebook so in these uh, applications you are more aware of what is the best uh, means to be infiltrated in this society otherwise you'll be stuck otherwise you'll be at home just crying i i was crying okay but uh, at the same time i knew that that's my decision I shouldn't uh, back up and just, uh, okay, I have to go back to my country, you know, I have to stay and I have to cope with these uh, uh, new challenges and therefore you shouldn't be uh, afraid from talking to any stranger. Americans are easy going, so you can speak, you can start uh, practicing by any person in who's just walking, ju just saying hi to him. Whenever he is reacting to you, it will give you some uh, confidence and this confidence will enable you to be more social in this strange society. The one thing I'd advise them, um, I personally didn't really experience it because um, ever since I was young, well since I've, I was 11, I've been living away from home. I went to boarding school first, uh, then from boarding school I you know, came over here, um, uh, so I've kind of been independent, call it that, um, since I've been 11. But for someone that that doesn't have that, I'll tell them immediately when you come in here, do not be afraid to make friends. Don't be afraid to just speak to to someone. You know, just ask questions. Um, best thing for you to do is to get involved quickly. Uh, I find that, especially for international students, the, the 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 more things you're involved with, 
the better your experience will be. Um, would be try to meet some other people, first of all. Your best resource is all, always, you know, people who've been here, who've been doing it. So a good way to tap into that is through clubs, if, if you can find that. Um, I personally have been a meditator for over 10 years, and that really helps me through everything. So I, I really recommend, even if people can't meditate, that they find something that they're passionate about that just helps them clear off all of the world that's saying all these things they should be doing. So, you know, even if that's just going for a walk. For me, often it was. I would go for a walk by myself on, um, I don't remember what it's called, on the main strip there in the evenings where everybody's jogging. Um, and uh, almost every night that I ever went there, I saw dolphins. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I just haven't had this anywhere else. And um, that became kind of a ritual for me. I would go walk along there, and if I was intending to go for exercise, that would be over the moment I saw a dolphin. You know, and then I would just sit down and watch the whole experience unfold. But I think that's really important to find something like that where you're out in nature, just relaxing. Um, that's an example. Or driving over to the beach, uh, finding a way over to the beach, taking a nice long walk along the beach, letting everything fall off, fall away, and just be with yourself so that you can re-engage you know, in a more invigorated way later.